Seneca Lake Wine Country covers 320 square miles of the Finger Lakes region in New York State. At 615 feet deep, Seneca Lake is the deepest of the Finger Lakes and one of the deepest lakes in all of North America. In this travel guide, we'll take you to some beautiful and unique stops along the Seneca Lake Wine Trail to eat, drink, explore, and be swept away by the beauty and bounty of this region. The Seneca Lake Wine Trail is about a half day's drive from New York City, Washington DC, and Philadelphia. For us, it's about four and a half hours of gorgeous scenery and winding roads that lead right into the wine country of the Northeast. This area is set apart by the lake effect. Mesoclimates found along Seneca Lake, the air drainage of sloping hillsides and glacial soils make this area primed and perfect for grape growing, while the cool climate provides the perfect conditions for New York vintners and growers to craft higher acidity, lower alcohol wines that are naturally food friendly and approachable. The region specializes in Riesling, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet Franc, as well as sparkling wines and ice wines. Over the years, French American and Native American varietals are being grown in the area as well. And every grower and vintner that we encountered was committed to innovation and evolution in growing and producing, and so very proud to say that their wines are grown here, made here, in New York State. Although the Finger Lakes are known for their award-winning Rieslings, we were surprised to find over 600 varieties of wines grown and produced here in the Finger Lakes. So whether you like reds or whites, still or sparkling, or even if you prefer beer to wine, there's something delicious just waiting to be discovered by you right here in New York. Wagner Vineyards Estate Winery is one of the oldest and most recognized wineries in the Finger Lakes and a great first stop on the Seneca Wine Trail. Centrally located on the eastern shore, Wagner Vineyards has been one of the region's most popular wine tasting destinations since 1979. Their on-property cafe, Ginny Lee, named for Bill Wagner's granddaughter, provides a breathtakingly beautiful spot to enjoy lunch and begin tasting what Wagner has to offer. Fifth generation grape growers with more than 100 years of grape growing experience keep Wagner Wines 100% estate grown, meaning they grow every grape they use right here on site. We love the different ways visitors can choose to enjoy their tasting and the property here. From laid back gathering spaces for visitors to taste and celebrate at their own pace, to guided tours and library wine tastings geared towards those who want to learn the ins and outs and history of what makes Wagner Wines so special. We were also excited about the brewery side of Wagner with over a dozen top lines and rotating beers in a variety of different styles we were particularly blown away by the delicious smoked lager, which came home with us in a crowler. Oh yeah, that's gold. Another can't miss stop on the wine trail is J.R. Dill Winery. JR is a collaborator and innovator with deep roots to winemaking and growing up in the Finger Lakes. Fueling the wine production here is a strong passion for both viticulture and Seneca Lake since J.R. Dill has lived here his whole life and first discovered the joy of winemaking 20 years ago in his parents' basement. The bar in the tasting room is lined with sea glass that his mother collected from the Finger Lakes. 
JR approaches winemaking with a healthy mix of science and artistry. The science of viticulture, farming, yeast, and fermentation lead the entrepreneurial side of the process and keeps JR and his team busy shepherding the grapes through the winemaking process. We love nerding out as we walk through the process from punch down to fermentation. The art form comes in with JR's philosophy to let the grapes be what they want to be and show up in their full flavor with as little tampering as possible. The end result is award-winning wines that can be sipped and savored with a bird's eye view of Seneca Lake and some pretty famous wine pickles that are kind of a big dill. At Lakeward Vineyard, tradition and technology come together to produce fruitful vineyards and delicious wines. Lakewood Farm is located on the west side of Seneca Lake, with east-facing slopes curving down to the shore. You can take your tasting through the vineyards and hike to the edge of the property, or take in the beauty of the estate from the indoor and outdoor tasting areas with an expert steward as your guide through the legacy and variety that Lakewood Wines has to offer. From their effervescent bubbly candio to their perfect port, Lakewood offers unique styles as well as familiar favorites in the region. Look out for the roses spread around the property and ask someone on the team to tell you about the Lakewood connection to Lady Bird Johnson. With three completely different wineries, a microbrewery, vineyard, and cafe, all on one exquisite estate, Three Brothers Winery and Estates is a destination in and of itself. We love the expansive but walkable property and how each section offers visitors a completely new experience. They've got Stony Lonesome, Passion Feet, Bag Dare, War Horse Beer, and Bombshell Hard Cider. Each area of the property has its own vibe and flavor, with an expansive selection of handcrafted wines, beers, hard ciders, and even craft sodas. There's quite literally something for every taste. If you've ever wanted to wake up in the middle of a vineyard dream, because who hasn't? The cottage for rent on the estate is the dreamiest place to make those vineyard destination dreams come true. With sprawling views of the vineyards and the lake, stunning sunset and sunrises, you'll feel like you're worlds away, but still be just steps from all the action. With more than 1,000 waterfalls and gorges in the Finger Lakes region, it's not just wine and vineyards leaving visitors wonderstruck. This area is a treasure trove of beautiful views, trails, scenic walks, drives, and overlooks. Once you've worked up an appetite, you'll find a diverse bounty of restaurants, cafes, and eateries here as well. The breakfast we can't stop thinking about came from our visit to Elf in the Oak. If you didn't know it was here, you might pass by it, but trust us when we tell you this enchanted spot is not to be missed. We love the beautiful views, the selection of teas and coffee, but what really blew us away was the food. This menu changes, but if you get the chance, don't miss the homemade pastrami biscuit and perfectly flaky cinnamon roll. I just want to waste a bite of this sandwich. It's freaking delicious. So what? Uh, there are no words, mm. only swoons.
3812 Bistro is a pub-friendly farm-to-table eatery located at the beautiful and scenic Lakeside Resort. Another gorgeous place to have coffee and a bite to eat while looking out onto the majesty of Seneca Lake. There are also cabins to rent and trails to hike and explore. In Watkins Glen, Thai Elephants offers modern takes on classic Thai dishes and incredible friendly service. We especially love the jasmine tea, the fresh summer roll with its sweet and salty crunch, and the pad thai was fork twirling perfection. For a little show at the end of your dinner, we recommend you go for the fried ice cream. Tucked along the twinkling Linden Street in downtown Geneva is local favorite, the Rusty Pig. We love their extensive craft beer selection and slow smoked hickory and applewood meats. The Fungi's and Brisket Appetizer is sweet and smoky perfection with tangy borzen on a meaty mushroom cap. The brisket and sides were delicious and so perfectly flavored that we took home some Rusty Pig barbecue sauce to hang on to this deliciousness a little bit longer. We definitely recommend saving some time to take in the shops and murals, views, and vibe of Geneva while you're there. The Seneca Lake Wine Trail has an abundance of wonders to see and explore. We are already daydreaming about coming back to see, taste, and experience even more of what this stunning and welcoming region has to offer. You can read more about the wine trail, our recommendations, and the surrounding areas at wildpreciousnow.com. And as always, wherever your wandering takes you, hope you're making the most of your one wild and precious now.